I know I kind of dropped the ball on this one. Oh, hey, what's up, Sean? Welcome to the stream already. Hey, we're just about to get started. I know nothing of it. I've been avoiding trailers and episode of it, but I've been so tempted to watch it. So, guys, stay tuned. I don't know how long this episode's gonna be, so we're about to get started. Oh man, I'm kind of excited. I miss my girl. <laughs> oh, we got a little. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Okay. I'm gonna teach this little punk oh, some manners. Dude. Hey, dickhead. Dude, if I was in the little here, I'd wreck that dude. Man, that kind of way. Your grades and your disregard for my rules. I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hal. Chloe, do something. Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me? On a little field trip. Dude. Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day. Oh shoot. I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. <laughs> and that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh man. <sighs> Back at it. I remember exactly where we left off. Dude, I remember we uh came into their house and stuff too. That was kinda cool. What's going on? So my can Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My my shift ran late at the diner and then just sorry. Oh man. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. <sighs> Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. That's when a big that word. respect okay. is violated. Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Uh, so, <laughs> uh, don't screw up. Uh, don't get in trouble again. Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. Oh. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. Become you a did. jerk like everybody else? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. Wait, what? The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. Yeah. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Of course. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. Hmm. Mom, you know this is all. Chloe, now is not the time. Turn it. <sighs> and yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. Mm. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means. You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to. I need to do it. 
What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. <laughs> I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. <sighs> totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Yeah, but I really don't want the horn to bust. What? Well, I really don't want to go with the lie, but at the same time, she's new, so... Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Oh, you're one to talk. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Trick her? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, thank God. Mrs. Price, this revelation may color the situation some, but it in no way absolves your daughter. I understand, Mr. <sighs> of Willis. Of course it does. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under... I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. She's new. I Give understand. her a break. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. What? And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. Oh, whoa, whoa. That's kind of taking it far there. Dude. But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. Ah, uh, no. That is so. Such... What was that, Miss Price? Poor crap. Chloe is upset for her friend, nope. but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Nah, I'm not gonna let her. I can't do it. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, yeah, I have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Sub reloads. Oh, to succeed in Blackwell, listen to your opponents. Ah, dang, I can't read that. To relate combats. Get your head out of your. Oh, we're Chloe, arguing. You seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Wells, 
You should confess to falling for her crap. I don't blame you, though. She's one hell of an actress. So... You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little red riding hood. Welcome to grandmother's house. Ah! Whoa, 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 Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. This can't be you. I Apologize think... this instant. Fine. I'm sorry for bullying Nathan. But if you had to look at that smug face as often as I do. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Dang it. Yes. I can't I can't go Sorry. with it. You will not be removed from the play. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year. Mm. With a chance for reinstatement in the fall. Chance. And now? You are expelled. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Bro. Come on, Chloe. I'm sorry, guys, if the stream is a little blurry. Can y'all let me know if it's a little blurry? I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We hmm. really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I Here. see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. <sighs> I don't really care about any of this sh except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Yeah, you don't need it. Oh. Just got the little kitten. <sighs> trash. Yeah, I guess we just pick it up. Trash. I had bags of chips in there or something. <laughs> Pencil case signature. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Oh, these are the people. Yeah, let's write her name in there. Remember, Chloe Price was here. <laughs> Chloe Price. Ten. Almost. <laughs> Chemistry book. Might come in handy. Oh, well. Guess not. She doesn't need it. <laughs> uh, trash as well. And trash. Wow, throwing away the music book too? Oh, it's just a flyer. Okay. Retrieve. Finally. What I actually came here for. Dang, she carved her own in order to get her joint in the back of it. Come on, you don't need it. Pencil. Is that everything? I guess I'm not gonna leave until I get it, so. She really wants that joint. <laughs> J. 
jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Stin. Chloe, you had to borrow your stash. Desperate times, you know. Promise I'll get you back next week. Justin. Dang. <laughs> he stole her stuff. <laughs> oh, Chloe. Bruh. ...of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Mm. Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Let me guess. She's got one in there, too. Guys, is it all blurry on your side? Because, uh... <laughs> she's so sexy. <laughs> Dude, she is. She's cute, man. She's gorgeous. Later, Skip. Later. Later, bruh. Ah, uh, there he Looks is. Looks like David's here. What is it? Wells bleeding up. Hella sucks. You're hella weird. <laughs> you are. Seriously, it's okay. Yesterday was worth it. And let's see what we got here. Let's go to the earlier ones. Oh, wow. I got stuff from Mr. Wells. Please be advised that the fast moving wildfire has recently been sighted in the vicinity of. In the state park. I have spoken with the Incarnium Bay who do, do not believe any evacuations are necessary at this time as the Blackwell's campus is not within the affected area or the fire's current projected path. Please utilize caution while traveling to the from campus facility staff have been asked to wave blah blah blah. All right. It's sort of weird to read because my TV's not getting the whole conversation. Yeah, but I could read it on my phone though. Fire warning. Okay. Elliot! What else did he say? Dude, that's the. Th wait, wait, wait. Alright, let's go back. Let's go back. What are you up to? Not much. Got ish to do. To do later. Oh, okay. You finished with Kim? Homework. Nope. Dude, that's the third time. I already know everything. <laughs> hey, weren't you and Kim? Everything okay? Yep. What happened with Drew? People are saying you were awesome. Yo, let's talk later. Okay. Holy, did you get Wells' texts about his fire? You okay? Yeah, you? Yeah, I'm just in my room. 
Hey, after Temptus, you want to hang out? Dude, he is straight getting friend zone with every text message. Alright. Let's see. Oh, okay, they blink when they're new, so... Man, mom is blowing up my phone. Alright, your school called. I think I know why. We have, the pr we have a meeting tomorrow with the Principal Wells. I need you to do better. Chloe. Chloe. Chloe Elizabeth Price. <laughs> you can ignore me all you want, but there will be a hell to pay when you get home. Chloe, did you hear there's a fire? Please text me so I don't worry. Chloe, are you okay? Chloe, please. I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. Come home by curfew. We will have a meeting early tomorrow. Chloe. I mean, again, Chloe? Really? I am at my wit's end with you. <laughs> Dang. Awesome. Oh man. Drug free zone. Drugs are free here. <laughs> man, why didn't anyone tell me before? <laughs> Alright, R2 to move faster. Oh wow, I can move much faster. That's a nice improvement. Announcement. Max would have loved this shit. What is this? Feature? Visual concept, intro, ceramics. Yeah. Not my cup of tea. Unless it's video editing, then you got me. Three guesses whose bike this is. And they all start with Miss Grant. Really? I guess I will miss one thing about this place. She used to ride this thing. I didn't see the parking lot last time. Last time I was... Ooh, there's a big old pothole right there. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. <laughs> yeah, I can uh, see that happening. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. Yeah, we're not gonna snitch either. Wait, I just saw something. Elliot! Is that you? Elliot and I have gone to school together since we were in kindergarten. Until today. Oh, bruh. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. A Saturday? I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy sh Pancakes. I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <laughs> she is so weird about everything. <laughs> well, I can get Thanks. it, though. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess, did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Oh, uh, right. Good call. Did you get my text? About hanging out afterwards? Yeah. <sighs> I don't know what to say. He's getting straight hardcore and friend zoned and everything, so. Yeah. I mean, I'm not really big on making plans, but maybe. Cool, cool. Uh, sounds, sounds good. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. <laughs> her boyfriend. Uh, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. Ah, <sighs> man. This is really gonna take its toll. Yeah, that dude's getting straight hardcore friend zone. Bigfoot said, that's what that thing is, huh? Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. Yeah. At least I'll have uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again. Mm -hmm. If I feel like it. Dude, I remember when I was expelled and it was like, uh, that I get to play games and everything? Nope. 
That's what they do best here at Blackwell. Empty things out and toss them aside. It's about David, please. Really, dude? You wanna start this? <clears throat> what? Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. I can't really say what I want. It's like, okay, like. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Neither do Maybe you. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Ooh. Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. DA. I need your help. Me, your mother, we need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. You mean that, Rose? If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me. Swore at me. Yeah. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Well, he didn't say anything about change with him. He's just going to start over. I feel like this is really gonna bite me in the butt. I really don't wanna do it, but. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. All right. Mom. Chloe. I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the f If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you can't be serious. David and I have discussed it, and we feel this is the only way for us all to have a fresh start. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. All right, stop being a sergeant. Fine. You want to see my sh so badly? Oh, not not the money. That's that's my money. Sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy. Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. <sighs> Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? I forgive you. 
You were under a terrible influence. I just worry about you, but that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. Thank we you. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Well, what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Well, no. 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 Chloe, after yeah, definitely everything not. that's happened, I'm at a loss. I need help. No, exactly. you just want. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. I'm telling you, no, don't let him in. No. What? These are my choices? These are always messed up choices. I don't know what to say to this. You're trying. Uh, no. You're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not... But this is not the answer. Thank you. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. Well, you're making a mistake. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. Or tr prison camp. That's what it's more like. It's like, here's the issue. No one's dealing with what happened. And she's just... Oh, there's so many, there's so many issues going on right now. Hey! There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. If the stream does not look good. Oh, where am I now? What's up, bro? Welcome to the stream, bro. You know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down. Hey, that's real. Hey, tell me how's the stream looking? Is it looking fine, bro? Is there any blurry lines and stuff like that? Oh man, what do you own? What is that? Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? That's all good. Face cam a bit small though. Uh, that's all cool. I would make it bigger, but I still gotta read some stuff in it. It's just in my phone, it's showing all blurry lines and stuff like that. So, just wanna make sure it's good. Dude, I hope you got to watch the previous episode because it got stuff got real. Like, I sort of cried a little bit. <laughs> Still wonder if I'm gonna cry. <sighs> Wait, this is our truck, isn't it? This is our truck. Is she really gonna fix this Ugh. up? <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, that's rust. Yeah, a little water. Well, well, if you get this rid of it too. This thing is a mess, but 
Maybe I can fix it. Dude. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Oh, bruh. All right, what give it can... as much as I can on this video, so that way I always make a montage out of it, and so that way I get to enjoy it. I'll grab that bat, though. You never know when you... Okay, I can't grab it. All right. Mannequin head. I remember that. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Oh, I know how it feels. Like, could a school bus have a battery? Well, I guess I'll never ride one of these again. Yeah. That's so... Awesome. <laughs> Decent... It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I love this girl. The stuff she says in her thing. Turn on. The heck? All right. Hey. A pirate flag. Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> it's probably the one thing that you gotta do in order to impress. Okay, that's super loud. You play Avi within two yet? I want to. It's just money thing for right now. As soon as I get good enough money, then yeah, yeah I'll be looking forward to it. I know one I'll fire be... that doesn't need any poking. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah. What the heck am I supposed to go for? A battery. There might be some in here. And dude, I remember that. Now <laughs> this is a Vortex Club I wouldn't mind joining. Really? Christmas lights? Hey! I don't have a place where even Christmas looks depressing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking all the way around. Dude, I remember this whole area, too. I'm so glad I could run. Alright, let's look for a battery. Don't want to leave yet. Oh, okay. I just wasn't leaving. Alright, where am I going to find a battery? It's kind of a uh, beer bottle. Uh, difficult to move around when I'm uh, running. Is that a toolbox? What is that? First, you take my mom. Then... Take my home. Ah! Good. Nah. She's not having it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get batteries put in truck. I am. I'm looking. <laughs> Alright. Have y'all played it yet? Because I'm avoiding all gameplay so that way I can see everything firsthand. Beach towel. No? You're a long way from the beach. Yeah. Or that might be uh, Rachel's. Where the heck am I gonna find a battery? You know what? Like... I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. <laughs> right I mean, he is kind of a snake. So is Rachel's dad. Syringe. Ugh. I touch. <gasps> battery! Dude! This car looks nice. This thing looks somewhat new. Yeah. Maybe the battery still works? But this looks too new. Look at this. Wait, wait, wait. Let me read this. Wow. <laughs> My drug dealer. This vehicle... Really crime paid better. Felt lawful. Oh, wow. Uh, I guess it's up for grabs. <laughs> what are you trying to hide under their hood? Oh. Jamal. Uh, yeah. There we go. Alright. Got the latch. Pull. Chivalry timbers. We're going into that booty. We're getting that booty. Meaning battery. We're going for the battery, guys. Don't lose it. <laughs> Is it what? No, I haven't. I don't really. What? The honor game. Here Hello. we go. The pick of the litter. Bruh. Are you sure that battery? Oh, yeah, it is a truck, so I guess that would fit that one. Man, where'd you put the battery? It's like in your infinite pocket. Yeah, I bet. Alright, let's see. So she got this car all by herself, man. 
Man, she been riding dirty then. She ain't got no license or anything for that thing. She just got it. And fixed it up. Ooh. You got it, Chloe? All right. And we're learning how to run a car. Let's do this. All right, where are we going? But does it even have keys? Oh, I remember it did have a screwdriver in it. Yep. <laughs> the power of knowing things. I don't know if that still works though. Like, that still work on newer cars? Uh. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. Uh. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. With what? Rustic clipboard. Oh, Rachel. Chloe Price. I don't suck. <laughs> you really, really don't. My mom thinks I do. Don't know if I can stand going home tonight. Still there? Grabbing something from home, then I'll meet you at the junkyard. See you really soon. You better. <laughs> uh, oh, mom. What did she say? New text messages. All right. David is trying to do what he think is best. No, he's a horn dog. He's such a tool. I did not like that he asked you to empty his pockets, and then you were compliant innocent Chloe can't you just forget about David for a second and think about me maybe I just need some space okay maybe I need my daughter back <sighs> I, I really don't know what to say, to say to all that why am I feeling like I'm expecting a jump scare this looks like a jump scare area right here look at her so cute self oh what's this maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here Oh, I know where the light bulb is. Let me let me get it. Let me get it. I know, I know where the light bulb is. Look, I can find something else to fix inside the truck. Ah, oh, fine, whatever. While an escape hatch could be nice, <laughs> I should probably cover over this massive hole. I think I got something for that too. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Man, she is. She's not the. She's not the typical girl to like. uh... I was gonna say, like most girls, to see your car and everything is like, oh, everything okay. looks so gross and Let's everything. See what else this trash heap has to offer. But she's like, she'll she'll make it work, even though it's like horrifyingly ugly, and everything's all messed up. And use that beach towel. You knew it. This could cover that torn seat and look awesome doing it. Oh no 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 no! We could grab the pirate one. That's even better. No no no, no. we're gonna use a pirate one. A sign. Oh, that's not gonna friend the car. I know what that light bulb is. I knew that light bulb was important for a reason. Here we go. Yes, we get a red one. You might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. It's true. She ever had a job? Cause I always wonder where she get money. Dude, man. All right, so something to cover the floor. We need some kind of, uh, you got something in there? No, 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 no. All right. Oh, I remember. Just seeing something on the floor. There we go. This might, nope, it won't. All right. What do we got? That's like some kind of square thing to cover up the hole in my car. All right. Well, I'm off to bed. I'll send you a link in the stream and a few of Discord chat before I go. All right then, bruh. You have a good one. Just send it to my Instagram, then I'll make sure to get it later. Oh, and before you go, does my stream still look okay? Cause... Better head back to the truck. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Let's go. No. Not to the truck yet. Does my stream look okay? Because it's looking blurry again. Man, she's so hard to run. What is this? Climb. Hmm. What's up here? Should have went to PE. Come on. <laughs> Damn, you cigarettes. 
Uh, I guess we need something to put under. I'm really interested what's up there. I know what's up. Oh, what's that? Sand. What? What is this? The heck? Who are you? I guess you could put that in the car. Panel around here. I know it was. Here it is. Four. Or something. <laughs> it's like, she's the type of girl, she will survive a zombie apocalypse and everything. She makes use of whatever she's got. Can I climb over here? No. Right, I'm guessing we can't really climb the boat. So, oh. oh, we can. All right, yeah, make your own stepping stone. I thought she said getting help as in like getting another person. No, I'll try to visit again depending on the stream. All right then, bruh. Yeah, this, this episode's probably gonna be at least three hours, maybe. That's tops. Oh man. Shit. Oh, is it still? Jeez, that fire is going crazy over there. All right. Hood. <gasps> Graffiti! What do I want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps? Burial crowns. Mm. Buried treasure. <laughs> Dude. Dude, I would like probably make a like a scavenger hunt or something like this. I take a look. I don't know for a fact that there isn't buried treasure there. <laughs> I'm loving this. The climb again. What? With all that? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, you should be able to climb. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> Alright, guys, I got a black uh, screen. <sighs> Man. I can't believe Rachel set that fire. I don't think she meant to, but I also don't think she didn't mean to. <laughs> I don't think so either. Crazy that something so destructive can also be so beautiful. Or a fire that began in a trash can could grow to light up the entire sky. In conclusion, fire. Pretty sweet. The virtue of this going in the way. Keep it tight so no one will stray. Staring at a light. Needless to say that I'll be alright.
That's pretty nice. What's up guys, this is Leviathan Vaughn. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, especially if you want to see more. Especially if y'all like what I see, like what I did in the video. Definitely tell me in the comments and everything. Sadly, I got a back screen, so that way I have to edit each part in the video and everything. So I'm so sorry that that had to happen. I'm sorry that you have to witness this. Better head back to the truck. Yeah, I'll head to the truck. So guys, don't forget hit that like button, especially if you want to see more of this episode and everything. It will be more parts. So I'll see y'all later. Love it. Love you. Bye. All right. All right. <laughs>